what is going on guys, it's Take the Games here, and today we are back at it again with another Call of Duty Zombies Top 5. In today's Top 5, this is going to be the Top 5 Best Characters, in my opinion, in Call of Duty Zombies. So, if your favorite character is not on here, don't bust it, not over it. Okay, this is my personal opinion, so, let's say if you really like Ted from Transit, and he's not on here, well then, I'm sorry. Don't fret. Don't get your panties in a bunch, okay? So, let's get right into this top five. So, coming in at our number five spot, we have Ludwig Maxis. Also known as Dr. Maxis, or Maxis, or Ludwig, or Dr. Ludwig Maxis. But, where, whichever way you slice it, slice it, or spell it, this guy is... The most, one of the most mysterious characters ever, because we only saw him in human form, like, in, uh, like, alive, once, in, El in the Revelations intro. We we've heard him in various radios, we've seen him before, uh, in Origins was the first time we saw him, and that's the picture I have up of him. So, we just really don't know much about this character. The only thing we really have solid information on, the only version we really have solid information on, is the first, is the, like, our OG universe, the knocked to buried universe. That's the only thing we have solid of this character, is that he was betrayed by Rick Toffin, he created group, he was a very essential part in group, non th group 935, I forget if he created it or not, but, and he was probably the, the biggest mystery uh, of the uh, entire zombies. Like, he really didn't reveal anything. He tried to stop Rick Tal He was mainly in Black Ops 2. He was in Black Ops 2 quite a bit. He was, you could either, you could do his full Easter egg and he would destroy the world so it can become, um, you know, you could get, he could get Samantha back. Um, he died on the moon, he tried to stop Rick Toffin on the moon, he's the one who was responsible for blowing up the Earth. It, um, so, yeah, he is like, he's also, he's a bad guy, He's a he was a bad guy in Black Ops 2, but he's also a good guy, and in Black Ops 3, I'm so happy that he was helping us, that he was an, an ally, because I really don't like, like this character, but if he's a bad guy, I really don't feel like ruining it for him. Because, well, you'll see by the end of the video. So coming down to our number four spot, we have Dr. Monty, or at least that's what we think his name is. Apparently, he's been known as the Devil, um, or many other names before. But this dude was, remember when I said, um, Dr. Maxis was the most mysterious guy ever? Not in Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3, Monty was the most mysterious character ever. He, legit, was the... Everyone was thinking... What, what, who is the, Dr. Monty? When we first saw his, um, the gumball machine, uh, on the, in the Shadows of Evil trailer, we were all just like, Dr. Monty's factory. Who's Dr. Monty? And we never even got a single bit of hint of who this character was until Garad Crow V. Hence why there's a gameplay of Garad Crow V up. Because we didn't have... Well, I mean, it, this, this gameplay is going to be throughout the entire video because it's pretty much the only thing good gameplay I have. But, anyway, this... Like, this guy, Dr. Monty, he was first speaking to us in this map. And then we saw... And then he released several trailers before Revelations and Snapchat and stuff, and he was, he was in there, he was, he was in the, he, we, he got his face reveal, uh, we knew who he was, well, know who he was, we know what he looked like, but we didn't know what the heck, we don't, we still don't know today if he's a good guy or a bad guy, we still don't really know if he's the reason Premise failed from the, um, Shadows of Evil Cipher, the formless one will be their downfall, we don't know if he was, even the bad guy in Revelations, or him in the Shadow Man, or even the same person from that from that Wisp, where he said that if a worm gets cut in half, both sides keep on living. 
that's a theory that him that it was like that for the Shadow Man. We also know that he knew the Shadow Man before he even was the part of the Apaki Kaki Khans, in his own words. So, yeah, he's still a mysterious character, but I like him for him being mysterious, and I think his voice is pretty cool, and I think that, uh, I, I think really his own, his um whole agenda is pretty cool too. We had no idea who he was, and then uh, like when I first heard him speaking uh, when we before they solved the Easter egg on day one, I, I thought he was Peter McCain. I actually did. But anyway, let's get down to our next. Okay, so coming down to our number three spot, we have Dempsey. Need I say more? By the way, we're only we're, I'm including the 1.0 Demp uh, Dempsey. Because he was the best. Like, listen, the 2.0 is too wrapped up in the story. He's too much questioning Rick Dolphin. And not enough funny quotes. Dempsey 1.0, on the other hand, is full of all these funny, uh, great moments, great quotes. He's just such a cool character. He, like, he was the reason for the Wonder Waffle starting. He was the reason for freak bag even becoming a word. This guy is so just amazing. I love Dempsey. Uh, I he's really the only other character. Um, he's really the only 1.0 version. I like 2.0 version. I like over the 1.0. Uh, like he's only he's the only 1.0 version really. I like over the 2.0. Um, but yeah. Uh, this guy is he's a pretty cool character. I like him. It's Dempsey. What else more can you say about him? So coming down to our number two spot. This character is a legend. And always will be a legend. It is the Russian himself Nikolai Bolensky. Now, I like the one point oh version, hence why I put the picture up. But I also like the 2.0 version. I like the 2.0 version just because of how much he's gone through. He really doesn't want to be here. Like, if you listen to his quotes from all the maps, he really doesn't want to be there. He doesn't. He's not. It's not like a, I want to secure the package and be in and out clean like Dempsey. He's more of a just like, I don't want to do this. Like, I, I, I don't want to do this at all. I just want this to be over and done with. I, I don't want to go through this. He's not... I, and his 2.0... His 1.0 version... Is probably the funniest character ever. All of his wives, the vodka... This dude is amazing. He's probably my favorite... Favorite, um... Uh, character in Black Ops... In, in, like... He's probably my second... Yeah, he is my second favorite character. He is. Uh, my friends have him as my as his first character. Like, their first favorite. They always love Nikolai. And always will. And a lot of people like him. I know the the Smith Plays and Mr. Tux Fi both... Um, they are both... Uh, Nikolai's are both their favorite characters. And it would be that way, too, for me if there wasn't one other character that existed. Now, guys. Here it is. My favorite character in all of zombies is, drumroll please, the Denizens. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. It is the Avogadro. Alright, I'll, I'll stop. It is Edward Rigtofen. How, how many times have I said this? I adore this, this character. He is the best. He is the funniest in Black Ops 1 and World at War. He is the most secretive. He's basically Treyarch as a character. He's crazy. He's funny. And his accent is pretty dank. I like both of his versions. That's why I try to get a picture of both of them. And I'm playing as Rick Toffin in this gameplay. So that is another big hint that this guy's my favorite. He's also holding my favorite weapon, the PPSH. So, this guy has created the Wonder Wolf. Everyone thought he created the Thunder Gun, too. Um, the MPD... Well, no, he didn't. No. The M... The MTD. 
the teleporters, um, the, uh, the, um, the ray gun. No, he didn't. I don't think he did the ray gun. Fuck, I forget. Did he do the ray gun? I don't think so. Uh, the monkey bomb, the QED, uh, I don't think he made the wave gun. But still, this dude was the best. He was legit the best character. He has been in almost every single... If you want to count... If you want to count the remakes of Noct and Verrucht, he has been in every single Zombies map. Yes, he has. He has been in every single Zombies map. If you count... Which I am, Noct and Verrucht remade. Because I think that is canon. I think they said it was. Just like the giant is canon... So, I'm pretty sure that those two count, so I'm counting it. He has been in every single map. Um, he has been in, and don't give me, no, he hasn't been in Black Ops 2. He's not in Black Ops 2. Yes, he is. He's in Black Ops 2. He is the announcer. Okay, this guy's too dank. He's the announcer. He's taken over the world. He has become, like, the all-powerful being. And he's Reed Dolphin. That's going to conclude for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And, of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Follow me on Twitter.